Roswell Flight Test Crew here at CES 2018 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm here talking to Andrew St. Pierre from Autel. How you doing, Patrick? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing real well, thanks. Now, I, I'm going to be honest, I'm glad to see you guys here. I was a little worried over this past year, but you guys are back and you're looking strong. Absolutely. We've uh, really shifted gears and diverted all our funding back into um, app development and product development so we could bring in new technology. Tell us about this little beauty you've got here in your hands. So, we have the Evo. This is the Auto Robotics Evo. It's our first compact drone packed full of features and it's very intelligent. Obstacle avoidance, computer vision system up front a 4K 60 frame per second camera on the bottom here. True. So it's stabilized footage just like you've seen from the X-Star Premium. You're going to expect that same stability. And with this camera, it's also going to be looking at you. We have dynamic track dial available with this camera. So you can draw a box right around your object or your subject and let the drone do its own thing and uh, follow you without any devices. That's really slick. Uh, and it's got even a rear IR on the back for obstacle avoidance as well. Yeah, so we're looking at a 30 minute flight time with this aircraft, and it's got a 7 kilometer range. 30 minutes, is that really real? We always have the reserves in there for the fail safe, so if the battery gets low, you fly too far out, it's going to come back to you. So when you get it out into the wind, things like that, you're probably going to be looking close to that 25 mark, but it's rated in ideal conditions, indoors, all that. 30 minute flight time is what we're kind of looking at right now. Outstanding. Now, what do you use to control this little guy? All right. So well, let me pull this guy out. This, I'll give you that. So this is the new controller here. It's compact. It folds out. We can hold up to a six-inch phone on there. Um, but what's great, and this is a big one, on the front here, let me power that guy up. We have a 3.3-inch OLED screen on the front of this controller. So just like before, you're getting all your telemetry information. But say you get out in the field, your phone's dead, you forgot it. We can now get live video on this 3-inch screen at 720p resolution, so you can always see what's going on with the drone, even without a phone on there as well. I really liked on the X-Star the fact it had that little built-in LED screen. I mean, you wouldn't see video, but it was so nice just to have your basic information there. This has taken it definitely to the next level. Absolutely, and with all the new information you're going to be getting from obstacle avoidance and tracking, that's all going to be available right there on that screen as well. Outstanding. Well, now the big question everybody in TV land wants to know is what's this going to cost and when's it going to be available? Absolutely. So we're going into production soon with the drone. Price point of under $1,000. Fantastic. Well, that's certainly something to look forward to. Andrew, thank you so much. Thank you, Patrick. Great to see you. And we'll see you soon. Great to see you. And from CES 2018, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.